Time for pick a card. Okay, this is card one, two, three. Which one resonates with you? Which one are you drawn to? Go ahead and put that number in the comments. I'll wait. If you pick card number one, it is the hangman, which is telling me that there's something in your life that you need to shift your perspective on. There might be somewhere that you want to go, a goal that you want to achieve, but you're only looking at it in one direction. There's only one way that you can get there. And this today, we want you to think about any other ways. Think outside of the box. What are other ways that you can get there? Now, this could be relationship. It could be career. It could be love. But how other how can you get there in different ways? So think outside of the box and change your sense of direction. If you pick card number two, you've got the Nine of Cups, which is my favorite card of the deck, I believe. It is the Wish card. This means that you are wishing for something. Now, Spirit's telling me that it might be just out of your reach right now, but do not give up. Do not give up on what you're doing. They're also telling me that you might have to do something in the meantime that it's not coming in. So go out there if you're looking for this big career go out there and get a part-time job while you wait for good news to come in for your wish to be fulfilled but your wish is coming keep wishing please do not ever give that up so your wish is coming it just might take a little bit longer than you thought so do what you can during the time to kind of keep yourself high vibing and so that you can still focus on that wish and not quit if you picked card number three, you've got the five of cups. Now this is telling me that you might be focused on what has gone wrong in the past, things that didn't happen. This might be a relationship that you're in that maybe broke up and we're still focusing on that no matter how long ago it was. So allowing yourself to start to focus in what's in front of you and what you have right now instead of everything that's gone wrong in the past, whether that be relationship or career, it doesn't matter the past. We've got to let the past go and allow ourselves to focus now. When we become present, we allow ourselves to let go of the, the thoughts that are in our head and it gives us space in order to think and create, create things that we want in our life. But if we're constantly focusing on the past, that's not going to happen because if your mind is over there, it can't be over here, which is the future. So allow yourself to let go of the things that didn't go right, the things you didn't do right. Let it go. Whew. Let it go and move forward.